An anxious wait for a city that could be told it won't be allowed to reopen along with the rest of England. Almost 3,000 people have tested positive for coronavirus in Leicester since the start of the pandemic. 866 of them were in the last two weeks. The Prime Minister hinted this morning that because of a rise in cases, restrictions would need to remain. We need to have local lockdowns and local uh, whack-a-mole strategies where that's necessary. It's worked in places like Western Supermare or uh, where we've had outbreaks in, in GP surgeries in, in London. Um, we, we, and that's the same approach that we'll bring uh, to bear in, in Leicester as well. Bobby's restaurant was due to reopen on Saturday. All day, the owner has been trying to find out whether he still can. But if he can't, he thinks his customers will just go elsewhere. I have a feeling that if you, if you close, for example, public houses in, in the city of Leicester, um, there are boroughs very close by, you know, five minutes in the car, ten minutes in the car, and it could drive people to those boroughs to just go and have a a pint with their friends, and which, which I think is more dangerous because then they're moving out of their locality. The mayor of Leicester says he hasn't seen any data that suggests coronavirus is more prevalent here than anywhere else. To a significant extent, uh, any apparent increase in the number of positive tests in, uh, in Leicester is as a result of doing more testing in Leicester. Uh, and uh, on that sort of basis, uh, there is no case at all for treating Leicester any way differently from the rest of England. Blake Edwards was looking forward to reopening. He's fully booked for six weeks, but it looks like he'll have to move all those clients back. Gutted, devastated. Um, you know, we've been ready and revving to go since since June, to be honest. Um, so to, to extend that for another two weeks is going to be mentally crippling and hard work for the organisation of our clients and upsetting for them as well. Public Health England accepts that the increased testing going on in Leicester is identifying more cases. But as COVID-19 deaths and hospital admissions continue to fall, some have been left wondering whether this is the right time and place to test the government's approach to local lockdowns. Stacey Foster, ITV News, Leicester.